Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today we are going to be making a couple of things. We're going to be making a beautiful summery beverage and we are making tacos. And we're doing this all out of flour. So more specifically, we're going to be taking hibiscus flowers actually the calyx or the sepals of the hibiscus flower. There are lots of different kinds of hibiscus and this particular one has this really bright purplish dark red color and it is often dried and used to make beverages and eaten in different parts of the world. Actually wide ranging parts of the world. I didn't realize it until I was researching it, but parts of Southeast Asia, in Africa, in Latin America, you can find foods and drinks made from this particular flower. And understandably, it goes by many different names like Zobo, Rosella, Jamaica, Jamaica de Flor, Sorrel. And today's inspiration comes from Latin America and more specifically Mexico. So I'm going to be making a lovely aqua fresca, which is a great summery drink. And I'm also going to be making tacos with the cooked flowers. I'm super excited about this. I have made hibiscus tea before which I love but I've never made my own agua fresca from these flowers nor have I ever made tacos from them so I'm super excited to see what they taste like Alrighty, so we've got a lot to do let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you're going to need is a source of the hibiscus calyxes jamaica de flor and I found these at my local Mexican supermarket and you're going to need about a cup of them so into a saucepan I'm going to add about one cup of dried jamaica Turn on the heat, add two cups of water. And we're going to bring this to a boil. And then we're going to reduce it to a simmer and let it cook for about five minutes. I imagine the longer you let it steep, the more flavor you're going to get out of it. But they're pretty crunchy, can you hear that? But I'm not going to let this steep overnight because I'm going to use the dried calyxes to make a dish. You'll begin to see that it's going to release some beautiful color as it goes. So yes, we'll let that go. Now for the taco filling, we're just going to be seasoning it with a couple things, namely onion. So I'm going to finally chop one whole onion. We're gonna leave some of this raw because it's going to be kind of a finishing garnish for the tacos. And then we're gonna use some of it in the filling as well. All right, I can hear my flowers coming up to a boil. I'm going to keep calling them flowers even though they're calyxes. Now this is not the first time I've cooked with flowers before. I also, last summer or two summers ago, I made quesadillas using squash blossoms, which were lovely. So, so very, very beautiful and delicious. I'm convinced that part of the pleasure of food and what makes food delicious is how it's presented and how it looks. And if it already looks beautiful, it's already tasting beautiful in your mind. So if you just take a little extra effort, just to arrange things a little bit, not too fussy, no need to break out the, you know, forceps and tweezers and stuff. You don't have to go to those lengths, but just, you know, making it look nice and then presenting it. It's another layer of love, you know? What kind of smell is that? It smells kind of like a dried fruit kind of smell not florally in the sense of like rose or anything like that or lilac not perfumey it just smells like a dried fruit i'm also smelling a lot of onions so perhaps when i drink it i can give you a better description Alrighty, my lovelies i'm back and my hibiscus flowers have been simmering and they've been resting in the hot water and now i'm ready to strain them all right here it is looks very dark i'm gonna pour them into here Look at that. But upon closer look, it's actually a beautiful red color. So here are the flowers and we're going to reserve them. And now I'm gonna cool this off with two more cups of water. Actually, just one cup. I'm gonna taste it and see how concentrated it is when we make our drink. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that color. So to this amount, I'm going to add eighth of a cup of sugar. I'd rather have it not be too sweet and I can always add more sugar to it. Actually, I'm gonna taste it now. Ooh, that's sour. So let's do a full quarter cup. So I'm adding another eighth of a cup. Oh yeah, mmm, 
that's great. It's still on the tart side, which I like. So that was a quarter cup of sugar to one cup of the dried flowers and a total about three or four cups of water. So I've got a few tomatoes here. These are little ones on a vine. And I'm gonna chop about half a cup of them. It's gonna add even more acidity and tomatoey flavor and bright color to it too. So today's taco filling inspiration comes from Fredster and in the description, I'll put all of his information in case you don't know him already. Alrighty, so in a saucepan, I'm gonna heat up on medium heat, add a bit of vegetable oil. We're gonna get our half onion going in here. And we're just going to cook those until they're translucent. Next, we're gonna add our Jamaica. We're going to take some scissors and we're going to cut up our sepals a bit so they're a little bit easier to eat. Okay, onions are starting to go. Reduce that down. And these are pretty resilient. They've got a pretty kind of tough feeling to them, but they do look kind of meaty. Look how dark they are. Those look kind of like beef jerky shreds or something. Okay, my onions are cooking beautifully. Next, I'm going to add my tomatoes in my tomatoes and onions. That's looking beautiful. Now we're gonna add the hibiscus flowers. In they go. Now we're gonna saute this up. Oh my gosh, that looks great. And add a little bit of water to moisten things up a bit. Add a bit of salt. Garlic powder. Probably about a quarter teaspoon. So for some additional flavor and smokiness, we're going to add some chipotle peppers, which are jalapeno peppers that have been smoked. These are the ones that come canned in adobo sauce. Love these, so much flavor. And the sauce is so tasty. So some of that sauce, about a teaspoon, and I probably should chop this up. Rather than chop it up, this is the whole chili pepper. See that? I'm gonna just use my scissors, because they're right here and cut them up. I love these scissors. Use them only in the kitchen and I wash them every time I use them. What I love about them is that you can take them apart. Look at that, see? So you can clean the blades, both sides, put them in the dishwasher, put them back, and then put them in your drawer. Isn't that great? Kitchen shears. One of my favorite ways of cutting pizza as well, using scissors. But with the kitchen scissors, not with the crafting scissors, not with the sewing scissors, do not touch my sewing scissors. You've been warned. And we're just gonna let this simmer for just a little bit until all the flavors can blend together and the hibiscus flowers have had time to absorb everything up. Alrighty, we'll see you in about mm, 10 minutes or so once these things have had time to be friendly. Okay. So our filling is finished. Now on this griddle, I am heating up two corn tortillas for my tacos. And we're going to finish our agua fresca. And this is cool down. It's still a little bit warm, but we're gonna serve it over some ice. And to this, we're going to add the juice of one lime. Okay, just stick a fork in it and turn. It's great. When I don't want to juice a bunch of uh, lemons, limes, citrus, whatever, just one, I just use a fork. We're ready to assemble. Our tortillas are nice and supple and soft. Fill up our tortilla. Both. Dude, 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 look at that. Very meat-like. On top of that, we're gonna add some onions. Love raw onions so much. And some chopped cilantro. If you had some salsa, I would add some. If you have an avocado, that would be swell. My avocado is hard on my counter. Don't be tempted to cut open a hard, you know, avocado. You've done it, because I've done it. Wishing and hoping that maybe it would turn soft after you cut it. I didn't do that. Look at that, it looks beautiful. And I'm gonna get a beauty shot of that because that looks gorgeous. Okay, so with my tacos, let's have our agua fresca. So, ice, plenty of ice. And then I'm gonna ladle my beautiful Alrighty, my lovelies, let's give our hibiscus themed meal a taste. First, let's try this beautiful elixir. Look at that, it 
it's so gorgeous it's like the color of cranberry here we go cheers That's great. You know why I like it? Because it's not overly sweet. And now, I don't like things overly sweet. If you followed me at all, you know that I don't. But oftentimes when I order this, it's too sweet for me. But this is perfect for me. Nice and tart. I like it tart. It has almost a dried fruity, when I say dried fruit, almost like a slight raisiny flavor to it. It's tangy. About as tangy as lemonade. In fact, just a little bit more tart than lemonade. Kind of reminds me of cranberry. If you've ever had unsweetened cranberry, it's very, very sour. And so this is can be too if you don't add any additional sweetener, but add a little sugar to it and it is so good. And with ice, it's so refreshing. Mm. And those colors, they've got to be good for you. Okay, now let's try it with our beautiful taco. Roll it up, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Great. The crunch of the fresh onions and that lovely sulfury flavor combined with the fresh cilantro and that filling is so good. You've got the corn tortilla that holds everything together and gives it a great kind of corny flavor. And then you've got the chipotle and adobo in there. It's so good. It's so smoky and it's spicy. Great. Mm-hmm. Mm. Love it. Mm. Mm. Paired with that as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think this whole meal will go really well with a slice of cold watermelon. And I am not a watermelon person. You can ask my family. Something about this scream summer, a little bit spicy, cool, cool drink, and then like a cold slice of watermelon, I think would be really great. This only thing I think I would add to this would be some sliced fresh avocado. Then it would be absolutely killer. That would add a nice layer of kind of creamy richness, kind of a foil to like crema or something like that, or some cheese. I think that little bit of smooth fattiness would be a welcome texture and a flavor element too. But alone, they're still stinking, cracking great. I would definitely make these again. Mm-hmm. French chicken tastic. All right, my lollies. There you have it. That's how you can transform a flower into a lovely, refreshing drink and a delectable taco. All right, my lovelies. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>